In this recording, I'm going to show you how to set up a job on the HSA for the HSA Touch system using the HSA Mini Draw program, which you can uh, install into Windows or you can run it as a program that doesn't get installed in Windows. I think if you uh, if you just take the files and run this application you could do it that way or you could install it into Windows uh, but to start with we're gonna take a USB disk I'm using USB 2 um, it's possible that USB 3 won't work but USB 2 does seem to work so we're gonna format it you have to format it FAT32 if you do NTFS, it will not work. So format it FAT32. Once you've formatted it, you can close it. We're going to go to the mini draw program and create a new package. Each package would be considered uh, you wouldn't create new jobs within the packages. The package is basically everything that's set up for that specific printer. So if you had two or three printers in the warehouse or in the on the floor, you might have two or three packages that you use. But for that specific printer, we're only going to use one package. And we're going to call that package envelope. Uh, right away it gives you three fonts to start with about these fonts each font it's not like Windows true font where it they're not vector files or anything like that each font it has to create a bitmap of each character in the font not only that but if you want to rotate the font it's going to create a whole set of bitmaps for each size, for each rotation. So, you don't want to create a whole bunch of fonts that you're not going to use. As a matter of fact, I might go ahead and delete uh, one of those. And then, and you can, only cre you can only have 50 fonts in the system. It will not take more than 50 fonts. And the bigger you make the fonts, the more room it's going to take up, and the more room you're going to need on your USB drive and the longer it's going to take. So we're going to create a new font and I'm going to call it Spear and I'm going to make it give it a size of 30 and say OK and then this font is going to be we're going to turn it counterclockwise which is really turning it 170 degrees. I'm going to keep the normal one there, but you don't have to. Um, I could just have it only 270 degrees, but uh, sometimes it's easier if you have to adjust something on the mini draw, it's easier to have it in normal as well as whatever uh, rotation you're going to give it. I'm going to create another one and call it ounce and I'm going to make that slightly bigger maybe 30, 30, 35, 34 maybe say OK this also is going to be turned 270 degrees those are the fonts I'm going to use um, you might need to use different ones but now that we've got our font set up, we're going to create a new file. The file is basically the job that the operator is going to select. So when they come up, they walk up to the machine and they're going to select whatever file you've given them and run it. We're going to create a new one called 16 ounce because that's the uh, sample that you guys gave us. When it opens it up, it's it's enlarged. Use your scroll mouse 
hover it over that area. You might even have to click on it and just scroll down so that you get to the right size. And then you're going to want to adjust. You notice here there's four lines. That represents four uh, print cartridges, the ink cartridges. Each one represents one lane here. You don't have four. You have three. So you're going to ignore this bottom one. You're never going to be able to, you're never going to put anything there that would be printed because it can't be printed because you don't have four cartridges. Um, so whenever you set up a file, you're always going to see this. The next thing to do is to tell it how long you want it. You don't, you don't adjust this because it's always going to be three cartridges wide, but you do adjust the, uh, the length of the document. It's always in millimeters, so you, if we wanted 17 inches or 18 inches, we would have to convert that to millimeters. They've got 0 0.02 millimeters. Um, it doesn't really need to be that exact. We're going to say 457 for about 18 millimeters. Start distance is always going to be zero for you. Uh, you would change that if we were instead of printing on envelopes if we were triggering with say a proxy sensor or something like that but we're using a photo sensor for you so the start distance is always going to be zero we're using the positive sensor edge we're not going to repeat again repeats is if you're going to you know maybe use a proxy sensor or something but every time the photo sensor is triggered you're going to print once so repeats is always going to be at one. Uh, repeat distance you ignore. Resolution, if you wanted to make this darker, you can go to a higher resolution. And if you wanted to move the envelope faster, which would make it lighter, you would go to a lower resolution. I think 300 will work fine for you guys. Um, ink parameters, if you're using some kind of weird ink, you might change this but we're just going to keep it at a default values for now and say okay so this is our file right now it's got nothing on it you notice it made it longer now we need to set up static text uh, it's not like a normal windows program where you would create a text box and then write in it we're going to have to create the static text first so we'll start with static text number one we're going to change the name to Spear, and we're going to tell it the text to use is going to be Spear, and say OK. Now you could put a counter on there so that you have you know a number go up for each time it prints. You could put dates on there so that it always puts a time and uh, date stamp, and you could also do shifts where. Uh, that would change with the operator. Whoever, whichever operator had logged in, it's going to put their name or number. Um, and then you could also look up data from a database if you wanted to and put that in there. But all we're doing is static text. So we got Spear. We're going to do one more. And we're going to call it 16 ounce. And the text is going to be 16 OZ and say OK. Now we've got spear and 16 ounce. I'm just going to take this and drag it up here and it opens up a window for me. Again, it wants you to name the text. Uh, the reason you do that is because if you tried to look at the text on the mini draw, whatever name you give it here that's what it's going to show so in this case the text we're going to have is spear because that's what we're printing um, the x and y coordinates if you had to change it on the mini draw or on the mini touch this is how you would change it you would change these numbers you can't just drag it like you would a normal program um, but so if your operator has to move it, they would if they had to move it, say, closer to the edge, they would probably use this one here. 
uh, the orientation we're gonna go you notice if I say 90 degree clockwise I don't have any fonts available because we didn't program any to do 90 degrees clockwise we're gonna go 90 degrees counterclockwise which is really 270 degrees clockwise now I have these two available to me and I'm gonna click spear and say okay now it took the word spear uh, that's the static and it applied it to the font spear and turned it counterclockwise and there it is I can drag it wherever I want now I want to take another one ounce and drag that up there same thing we're gonna call it 16 ounce we're gonna make it counterclockwise and apply it to the 16 ounce font that we made and drag that into the right position I'm going to go ahead and erase the normal uh, font rotations for these you might not want to do that in case someone has to adjust things on the mini draw or add text on the mini draw it's easier to add it under normal and then rotate it after you've done that but we don't really need to do that so I'm just changing those and you'll find out why in a minute anyway so this is what it's going to print um, the envelope comes through this is the lead edge of the envelope and as it comes through the machine it'll print these two uh, texts right here uh, and again if you if you need to move them you can do it on the mini draw but it's kind of a pain you might go ahead and print it and find out from the operator where it needs to move and if they say well it needs to move um, eight millimeters forward you can just come here and put this eight millimeters forward so that it would be say 56 and say okay and that'll move it eight millimeters forward uh, otherwise it it's kind of a pain to do it on the mini touch itself so after I'm happy with that first of all I'm gonna save the project I'm saving it to my computer not to the USB drive yet we're gonna save the project I'm gonna it automatically tries to save it to the USB it might try to save it to somewhere else but in our case I'm gonna tell it make sure you tell it where to save it so that otherwise you'll lose it and it it might store it in some weird place that you wouldn't even think of uh, using so I created a HSA files on my desktop and I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna call it envelope and it's a mini touch package file so you would have one of these for each printer that you have if you have other printers each one is going to want its own uh, project file now that it's been saved I'm going to do one more thing before I export it to the USB I'm going to open settings and I want to make sure save fonts is selected um, I think when it first installs MiniDraw on your computer save fonts will not be selected most of this other stuff you can ignore but that save fonts and save graphics should be selected otherwise it won't save the fonts now if you do this and then you decide hey I want this 16 ounce moved down a little bit but you're not changing the font at all then you don't have to have that selected you can leave that unselected it'll be a lot faster but the first time you do it as long as you're not changing the fonts at all you want to have that selected then we can use this transfers the project to a USB device then we get this window these pertain to when you install it onto the mini touch if I want it when you install this on the mini touch controller if I want it to erase all the old ones I would select these 
but if say I'm only changing one of the ones and I want to keep all the old ones generally you would just have these green but in cases where you actually change the size of a font you might want to remove the old fonts first otherwise it could get confused I'm gonna save this pack like if if we have a font called spear and spear is this size and then I need to change it to another size I can either rename it or I have to say remove fonts now I'm gonna save it to the USB package I'm gonna again you have to select it it doesn't automatically know where to put it so I'm gonna look for my USB disk which I just formatted under fat 32 and I'm gonna give it a name and call it envelopes and hit save here's the thing it takes a while and sometimes <coughs> like if I click on something it's gonna look like my computer locked up <coughs> see I got the little circle here and it looks like it locked up but it didn't locked up it's still working um, there it just kicked back in again it, it takes a little while because again it has to turn each one of those fonts into a whole bunch of bitmaps and the bigger fonts you have the bigger bitmap files so it's it just has to do its thing once it's done I can close the program right now it's done it looks like I can close the program and take the USB disk and go put it into the mini draw or the the mini touch when I go to the mini touch I turn it on and then I log into the admin control panel once I do that I take the USB disk and put it into the controller it will automatically start downloading it might ask you a couple questions first and you say yeah go ahead and download it and then it'll start installing it onto the mini touch and from there your operator can select the jobs what they're selecting is the files and tell it to print whatever file you have there 